The Minoan eruption of Thera, also referred to as the Thera eruption or Santorini eruption, was a major catastrophic volcanic eruption with a volcanic explosivity index of 6 or 7 and a dense rock equivalent of 60 km 3, which is estimated to have occurred in the mid-2nd millennium BCE. The eruption was one of the largest volcanic events on Earth in recorded history. The eruption devastated the island of Thera, including the Minoan settlement at Akrotiri, as well as devastating communities and agricultural areas on nearby islands and on the coast of Crete due to a related earthquake and or tsunami. There are no clear ancient records of the eruption, which seems to have inspired certain Greek myths, may have caused turmoil in Egypt, and may be alluded to in a Chinese chronicle. Eruption equals Background equals Geological evidence shows the Thera volcano erupted numerous times over several hundred thousand years before the Minoan eruption. In a repeating process, the volcano would violently erupt, then eventually collapse into a roughly circular seawater-filled caldera, with numerous small islands forming the circle. The caldera would slowly refill with magma, building a new volcano, which erupted and then collapsed in an ongoing cyclical process. Immediately prior to the Minoan eruption, the walls of the caldera formed a nearly continuous ring of islands with the only entrance line between Thera and the tiny island of Asprinici. This cataclysmic eruption was centered on a small island just north of the existing island of Nakamini in the center of the then existing caldera. The northern part of the caldera was refilled by the volcanic ash and lava, then collapsed again. Equals magnitude equals Research by a team of international scientists in 2006 revealed that the Santorini event was much larger than the original estimate of 39 km 3 of dense rock equivalent, or total volume of material erupted from the volcano, that was published in 1991. With an estimated DRE in excess of 60 km 3, the volume of ejecta was approximately 100 km 3. If so, the eruption's volcanic explosivity index was 7. The volcano ejected up to four times as much as the well-recorded eruption by Krakatoa in 1883. The Thera volcanic events and subsequent ashfall probably sterilized the island, as occurred on Krakatoa. Only the Mount Tambora volcanic eruption of 1815, Lake Torpo's Hatap eruption around 180 CE, and perhaps the Barak Mountain eruption around 970 CE released more material into the atmosphere during historic times. Equals sequence equals, on Santorini, there is a 60m thick layer of white tephra that overlays the soil clearly delineating the ground level prior to the eruption. This layer has three distinct bands that indicate the different phases of the eruption. Studies have identified four major eruption phases, and one minor precursory tephra fall. The thinness of the first ash layer, along with the lack of noticeable erosion of that layer by winter rains before the next layer was deposited, indicate that the volcano gave the local population a few months' warning. Since no human remains have been found at the Akrotiri site, this preliminary volcanic activity probably caused the island's population to flee. It is also suggested that several months before the eruption, Santorini experienced one or more earthquakes, which damaged the local settlements. Intense magmatic activity of the first major phase of the eruption deposited up to 7 m of pumice in ash, with a minor lithic component, southeast and east. Archaeological evidence indicated burial of man-made structures with limited damage. The second and third eruption phases involved pyroclastic flow and lava fountain activity and the possible generation of tsunamis. Man-made structures not buried during Minoan A were completely destroyed. The third phase was also characterized by the initiation of caldera collapse. The fourth, and last, major phase was marked by varied activity, lithic rich base surge deposits, lyres, debris flows, and coinum bright ash fall deposits. This phase was characterized by the completion of caldera collapse, which produced megat tsunamis. Geomorphology Although the fracturing process is not yet known, the altitudinal statistical analysis indicates that the caldera had formed just before the eruption. During this period the area of the island was smaller and the southern and eastern coastlines appeared regressed. During the eruption period the landscape was covered by the pumice sediments. 
in some places, the coastline vanished under thick tuff depositions, and in others recent coastlines were extended towards the sea. After the eruption, the geomorphology of the island was characterized by an intense erosional phase, during which the pumice was progressively removed from the higher altitudes towards the lower ones. Volcanology this Plinian eruption resulted in an estimated 30 to 35 km high ash plume which extended into the stratosphere. In addition, the magma underlying the volcano came into contact with the shallow marine embayment, resulting in a violent steam eruption. The eruption also generated a 35 to 150 m high tsunami that devastated the north coast of Crete, 110 km away. The tsunami affected coastal towns such as Amnizos where building walls were knocked out of alignment. On the island of Anafi, 27 kilometers to the east, ash layers 3 m deep have been found, as well as pumice layers on slopes 250 m above sea level. Elsewhere in the Mediterranean there are pumice deposits which could have been caused by the Thera eruption. Ash layers in cores drilled from the seabed and from lakes in Turkey, however, show that the heaviest ash fall was towards the east and northeast of Santorini. The ash found on Crete is now known to have been from a precursory phase of the eruption, some weeks or months before the main eruptive phases, and would have had little impact on the island. Santorini ash deposits were at one time claimed to have been found in the Nile Delta, but this is now known to be a misidentification. Eruption dating The Minoan eruption is a key marker for the Bronze Age chronology of the eastern Mediterranean world. It provides a fixed point for aligning the entire chronology of the 2nd millennium BCE in the Aegean, because evidence of the eruption is found throughout the region. Despite this evidence, the exact date of the eruption has been difficult to determine. Archaeologists have traditionally placed it at approximately 1500 BCE. Radiocarbon dates, including analysis of an olive branch buried beneath a lava flow from the volcano which gave a date between 1627 BCE and 1600 BCE, suggest a date over a century earlier. Thus, the radiocarbon dates and the archaeological dates are in substantial disagreement. In 2012 one of the proponents of an archaeological date, Felix H. Paragraph Mayer, argued that archaeological evidence could be consistent with a date as early as 1590 BCE, reducing the discrepancy to around 50 years. Conversely, the radiocarbon dates have been argued to be inaccurate on scientific grounds. This argument has been made in particular by Malcolm Wiener. The primary problem is that 14C deficient carbon, sourced from the environment, might easily have affected the radiocarbon dates. Equals relative chronology equals Archaeologists developed the Late Bronze Age chronologies of Eastern Mediterranean cultures by analyzing the origin of artifacts found in each archaeological layer. If an artifact's origin can be accurately dated, then it gives a reference date for the layer in which it is found. If the Thera eruption could be associated with a given layer of Cretan culture, chronologists could use the date of that layer to date the eruption itself. Since Thera's culture at the time of destruction was similar to the late Minoan IA culture on Crete, LMIA is the baseline to establish chronology elsewhere. The eruption also aligns with late Cycladic and late Helladic I cultures, but predates Peloponnesian LHI. Archaeological digs on Acrotiri have also yielded fragments of nine Syro Palestinian Middle Bronze II gypsum vessels. The Aegean prehistorians felt so confident about their calculations that they rejected early radiocarbon dates in the 1970s for LMILCI Thera, because radiocarbon suggested a date about a century earlier than the traditional dates. At Tal el Dabir in Egypt, pumice found at this location has been dated to 1540 BCE, closer to the traditionally accepted date of Thera's eruption. This matches the composition of the Thera eruption. This pumice has been contentious since the 1990s, as it represents the most prominent supported date that differs from the old chronology. Equals ice cores and tree rings equals, Greenland ice cores show evidence of a large volcanic eruption in 1642 or plus or minus 5 BCE which was suggested as being associated with Santorini. However, volcanic ash retrieved from an ice core does not match the expected Santorini fingerprint. The late Holocene eruption of the Mount Aniak Chak, a volcano in Alaska, 
is now believed to be the source of the minute shards of volcanic glass in the Greenland ice core. Another method used to establish the date of eruption is tree ring dating. Tree ring data has shown that a large event interfering with normal tree growth in North America occurred during 1629 Euro 1628 BCE. Evidence of a climatic event around 1628 BCE has been found in studies of growth depression of European oaks in Ireland and of Scotch pines in Sweden. Bristlick on pine frost rings also indicate a date of 1627 BCE, supporting the late 1600s BCE dating. Procedural changes in how ice cores are interpreted will bring that data more in line with the dendrochronological numbers. Equals climatic effects equals, hydrogeologist Philip Lamoureux asserted in 1995 that the eruption caused significant climatic changes in the eastern Mediterranean region, Aegean Sea and much of the northern hemisphere, but this was forcefully rebutted by volcanologist David Pyle a year later. Around the time of the radiocarbon indicated date of the eruption, there is evidence for a significant climatic event in the northern hemisphere. The evidence includes failure of crops in China, as well as evidence from tree rings, cited above, bristlick on pines of California, bog oaks of Ireland, England, and Germany, and other trees in Sweden. The tree rings precisely date the event to 1628 BCE. Historical impact equals Minoan civilization equals the eruption devastated the nearby Minoan settlement at Acroteri on Santorini, which was entombed in a lair of pumice. It is believed that the eruption also severely affected the Minoan population on Crete, although the extent of the impact is debated. Early theories proposed that ashfall from Thera on the eastern half of Crete choked off plant life, causing starvation of the local population. However, after more thorough field examinations, this theory has lost credibility as it has been determined that no more than 5 mm of ash fell anywhere on Crete. Other theories have been proposed based on archaeological evidence found on Crete indicating that a tsunami, likely associated with the eruption, impacted the coastal areas of Crete and may have devastated the Minoan coastal settlements. Another theory is that much of the damage done to Minoan sites resulted from a large earthquake, and the fires it caused, that preceded the Thera eruption. Significant Minoan remains have been found above the late Minoan era Thera ash layer and tsunami level, and it is unclear whether these effects were enough to trigger the downfall of the Minoan civilization. Some sites were abandoned or settlement systems significantly interrupted in the immediate aftermath of the eruption. As the Minoans were a sea power and depended on ships for their livelihood, the Thera eruption likely caused significant economic hardship to the Minoans. Whether these effects were enough to trigger the downfall of the civilization is intensely debated. The Mycenaean conquest of the Minoans occurred in late Minoan II period. The Mycenaeans were a military civilization. Using their functional navy and a well-equipped army they were capable of an invasion. Mycenaean weaponry has been found in burials on Crete. This demonstrates Mycenaean military influence not many years after the eruption. Many archaeologists speculate that the eruption caused a crisis in Minoan civilization, making them vulnerable to conquest by the Mycenaeans. Equals Chinese records equals, a volcanic winter from an eruption in the late 17th century BCE has been claimed by some researchers to correlate with entries in Chinese records documenting the collapse of the Xia dynasty in China. According to the Bamboo Annals, the collapse of the dynasty and the rise of the Shang dynasty approximately dated to 1618 BCE, were accompanied by yellow fog, a dim sun, then three suns, frost in July, famine, and the withering of all five cereals. Equals effect on Egyptian history equals, there are no surviving Egyptian records of the eruption, and the absence of such records is sometimes attributed to the general disorder in Egypt around the Second Intermediate Period. Heavy rainstorms which devastated much of Egypt, and were described on the tempest steel of Amos I, have been attributed to short-term climatic changes caused by the Theron eruption. While it has been argued that the damage from this storm may have been caused by an earthquake following the Thera eruption, it has also been suggested that it was caused during a war with the Hyksos, and the storm reference is merely a metaphor for chaos, upon which the pharaoh was attempting to impose order. Documents 
such as Hatshepsut's Fios Artemidos, depict similar storms, but are clearly speaking figuratively, not literally. Research indicates that this particular steel is just another reference to the pharaohs overcoming the powers of chaos and darkness. Equals Greek traditions equals. The Titanomachy, the eruption of Thera and volcanic fallout may have inspired the myths of the Titanomachy in Hesiod's Theogony. The Titanomachy could have picked up elements of Western Anatolian folk memory as the tale spread westward. Hesiod's lines have been compared with volcanic activity. Sightings uses thunderbolts as volcanic lightning, the boiling earth and sea as a breach of the magma chamber, immense flame and heat as evidence of phreatic explosions, among many other descriptions. Atlantis. There is some archaeological, seismological, and volcanological evidence that the myth of Atlantis, described by Plato, is based upon the Santorini eruption. Equals Book of Exodus equals. Geologist Barbara J. Sivitson seeks to establish a link between the eruption of Santorini and the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt in the Bible. See also, Timetable of Major Worldwide Volcanic Eruptions. References Further reading, Bytak, M. Radio Euro A Test of Time by S. W. Manning. Bibliotheca Orientalis 61, 199 Euro 222. Retrieved April 21, 2008. Calendar, G. The Minoans and the Mycenaeans, Aegean Society in the Bronze Age. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-551028-3. Forsyth, P. Y. Thera in the Bronze Age. Peter Lang Publishing. ISBN 0-8204-4889-3. Friedrich, W. L. Fire in the Sea, the Santorini Volcano, Natural History and the Legend of Atlantis. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-65290-1. Page, D. L. The Santorini Volcano and the Destruction of Minoan Crete. The Society for the Promotion of Hellenic Studies, London. Warren P. M. The date of the Thera eruption. Inchni E. Hainai, Hunger H., Melman D., Schwabe Timelines, Studies in Honor of Manfred Bytak. Leuven La Neuve, Belgium, Peters Pages 2, 305 Euro 321. ISBN 90-429-1730-X. External links, Thera Foundation Articles on Archaeology, Chronology geology, volcanology, etc. Santorini Decade Volcano A Euro Santorini's Geology and Volcanic History, The Minoan Eruption and the Legend of Atlantis. The Thera Volcanic Eruption and the Absolute Chronology of the Aegean Bronze Age, a www companion site to, Sturt W. Manning, A Test of Time, The Volcano of Thera and the Chronology and History of the Aegean and East Mediterranean in the Mid-Second Millennium BC. Volcano World Information About the Eruption with Photographs, Thera 2006 Expedition A Euro Exploration of the Submarine Deposits and Morphology of Santorini Volcano, The Eruption of Santorini in the Late Bronze Age A Euro Online Doctoral Thesis on the Eruption, Scientific Analyses and its Environmental Effects.